This is the granddaughter of Georgia Governor George M. Troop. Uh, her parents lived in southeast Georgia, right on the coast of Georgia, and that was an unsafe place to live during the Civil War because Union gunboats came right up on shore. So the families who lived on the coast had to flee. They had to refugee other places, and a number of them came to Athens, and we have their records, those who were Episcopalians, in the minute books of Emanuel Episcopal Church. This girl was under their watch care while she was here. She was 20 years old, and she died of some communicable disease while she was refugeeing here. And so because they couldn't go home to bury her, she is buried in Oconee Hill Cemetery. And this monument that marks her grave is a broken column with a biblical scroll coming across the top of the broken column. The broken column signifies life cut off, cut short. And at the base down here, it has a verse from the Bible that God gives his beloved or his faithful rest. And that it's upon that verse that the Victorian concept of death as sleep, that all of that sleep imagery came about in funerary art so that we have cradle graves, we have pillows, and even the house of death, mausoleum. And uh, so this tells us a lot about Victorian uh, funerary art. And she is the daughter of a Georgia governor whose life, she was only here a few brief months of her life, but she is spending eternity in Oconee Hill Cemetery.